The AASLD is of course the place to go for some of the best knowledge out there about liver disease, and their journals play an essential role in disseminating this. We caught up with the editors-in-chief for two of the top journals. I'm talking to Dr. Zabo, Editor-in-Chief of Hepatology Communications, a relatively new journal within the hepatology community. Dr. Zabo, welcome to the show. Good morning. So tell me a little bit about Hepatology Communications. We are very excited. This is a new journal, a brand new journal of uh, EASLD that's less than a year old. We started to take uh, submissions just about a year ago and we have so far published nine issues that started in February. I have a fantastic editorial team to work with. Uh, the associate editors are experts in hepatology and we are pretty much covering all fields. So what sets your journal apart from all the other publications within the hepatology community? So first of all, this is an open access online journal that is uh, new for at least ASLD and for our community. Um, we recognize that uh, there are multiple very high level publications that don't make it to the top level journal hepatology and hepatology communication aims to provide a home for those journals that those manuscripts that just miss the line for hepatology and in fact we have a very well kind of designed collaboration and system with the, with the editorial team of hepatology where if a manuscript for example gets rejected with reviews from hepatology recognizing that they are potentially very high level then we actually offer an automatic cascading to hepatology communications. And the hepatology communications then can evaluate the previous reviews and make decisions upon that. So that I think works for the authors because it really shortens the timeline of, of uh, potentially getting published. Uh, having said that, obviously we are critical and, and our aim is to build a journal that's going to be highly competitive but really serves the entire community. Well, you know, it sounds like a really exciting publication. I'm sure all the attendees here will be looking you up online. Thanks so much for having us, uh, being with us today. My pleasure, thank you. Next, I'm with Dr. Rowe, who is the Editor-in-Chief of Clinical Liver Disease. Dr. Rowe, welcome to the program. Thank you so much for inviting me. So congrats on being named the, the new editor. So tell us a little bit about your journal. Well, CLD is a little bit of a fledgling journal still. I mean, it's certainly not brand new, but it's been around for about six years, and I'm taking it over from a very invested, respected individual, so I've got big shoes to fill. But CLD is unique in that it's a multimedia journal. So it's not, it's very short tidbits, it's not a long academic article, and it's always paired with a good complement of graphics, podcasts, um, audio bits so that you can have the article read to you, you can have an interview that you can listen to with the author. It's really meant to present the data in multiple formats. You know, social media and digital is exploding in medicine. So tell us a little bit about how your journal is going to leverage these platforms. But I think that this is a really exciting time to take this and run, to see what we can do, what works, what doesn't work, and to engage in a lot of new individuals that might not have considered an academic journal a good fit for them. What are your goals for the journal during 2017 and beyond? Well, so I think that we continue to worry about viewership. We want to get this product out to the people who would like to see it. And in, in making a person start to look at something is a little challenging. If they love it, then they're going to come back. But getting them to first try it I, is going to be one of our biggest challenges. And so I need to grow the, the viewership. We also want to make sure that we do a lot of interaction between the other three products that ASLD makes. This is a really good place to start, and if you love it, then you might find that the Journal on Hepatolo um, Hepatology or Transplant or Communications are really good places that you can get education. We also think that this is a really good tool for residents and fellows that are studying for boards. It has CME questions, board review questions. And so trying to make sure that people preparing presentations, trying to brush up for morning rounds, that we get this into their hands. And that's what our hope is for the next couple of years. Well, this sounds like a really exciting time for clinical liver disease. I know that all the attendees are going to want to take a look online. Thank you so much for joining us on the show today. Thank you for letting me talk about something I love.